Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Yurko here. Going to take a few minutes to show you how to design your own multi part gadget like this nifty car here. Uh, we're going to be pretty simple in our construction, so try not to overcomplicate the, this and create some general parts using some of the tools we already know how to do. So, here we have our car, and it has different components. We've got a car body. We've got tires and wheels, and you can see there are four wheels and tire sets on one car body. Uh, in order to do this, let's, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start off in our on-shape environment with a new part studio, and it's going to look kind of like so. And we're going to go ahead and create a sketch on our front plane of this, the outline of the car we're looking for. So to give you an idea, we're gonna go ahead and start off with something basic like, like this, this outline here. You can make any outline you like. And you can see this outline is, is very basic. It's, um, I'm only using straight lines and it's uh, seven inches long, approximately. This is really got a lot of overhang over here. But, Bottom line is we need to have a, a, a filled profile that looks like the side of the car that you want to construct, and we're going to stretch that out. So how do we do that? Well, create a sketch, pick the plane we want to put it on, view normal to the plane. Uh, remember the N key on your keyboard and P key on your keyboard will N will make it turn flat like this and P will make those extra planes disappear so you're not staring at a lot of clutter. So we're going to go ahead and draw ourselves a line. So we're going to draw this about seven inches long. You see the numbers pop up on there. Uh, so somewhere about there will work. Uh, and that's going to be my first line. If I want to continue with straight lines, I can. If I want to switch to splines or arcs, we can do that too. It doesn't really matter what shape you draw so long as you're happy with it and it produces a closed profile that we can extrude so there you go we have a profile we're then going to go ahead and, and give that one let's give that a name let's call it uh, car body notice that i always give my name put my names in all caps that makes things easier later whenever it comes time to put, produce drawings of these things all right, so I now have, a, have a, a shape that we're going to use our extrude tool and go ahead and turn that into a 3D object. So I'm going to click the space that I want to extrude. It's going to be a new solid. How wide do we want to make that? We can just push and pull on that. Now we're going to look, we're looking for somewhere around three inches. You can type the value in as you want or manipulate it using the arrow. Just when you're happy with it, Call it a day. So I'm going to go with 3.3. And there you have it. There's, there's your basic car body outline. Now from here, we can try all sorts of things to make it look more like what we want. We can create uh, fillets to round off edges. We can add additional sketches and planes and extrusions. Anything you want to make it look like what you want to, want to look like. If you want to go back and change that fillet, go for it. I'll make that point five. And there's there's my car. All right. Um, if I want to put holes in the side, like for for axles, we can just go ahead and add a sketch to the side. And use so I just added a sketch and I clicked on the flat face here to give it a, somewhere to put it. We go ahead and add axle holes. Two of those in there. And there you have it. Go ahead and extrude those all the way through. Use our extrude tool. We're going to go ahead and send them through all, and it's going to be a remove. And might as well give that a name.
All right, so there's my car and there's my shapes. Let's go ahead and give it some color. I'm going to right click on part one and rename that. And we'll give it a co some color and appearance. Uh, let's go with, let's go with that little off of blue. That's kind of fancy looking. Nice. So, so there you go. There's a basic car body. Not super difficult. All right. Now you should have already by this point made, and let's rename that car body. So, that we, don't, so we know what tab we're looking at. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at our other part studios. Uh, if you want to add new part studios or other features, remember just come on down here to click create part studio. Now, I've already created this sketch. Um, and I've created a sketch that's uh, relatively the similar size to the car that we're going to construct. So this is the rim I've drawn here, this little backwards C looking thing. And then there's my tire. I drew this both on the same sketch. I'm going to see if we can try to make this work. Uh, I went from the center uh, axis out to the outer rim of the car to be to be three quarters of an inch, and the from the center line to the axle hole uh, an eighth of an inch. So that'll make it. When, when it, this is fully done, we'll have a, a wheel that's inch and a half in diameter with a quarter inch hole in the center. Go ahead and finish that sketch. And revolve it. Now, when it comes time to revolving, I'm going to pick which face that region I want. Let me go ahead with the just the, the rim first, and then we're going to do the revolve axis and pick the center axis. And that is a new feature, which we'll call the wheel. And then we're going to go ahead and make that sketch visible. And create another another revolution, which we're gonna. It's also gonna be a new part, and we'll identify that tire sketch. We'll call that tire, and we'll pick the revolve axis as either the face of the exact, exact uh, previous thing. So for the revolve axis, we can just click the same axis, and Oh, I want, don't want that to be the same. So let's go back into that tire. Made a mistake. I want that to be a new part. There you go. And I'm going to turn that sketch off. So there you go. We have a wheel. There's my there's my wheel and tire. There's two parts, so let's rename that. Rename that wheel. And let's rename that tire. So what you have here is a wheel and a tire uh, that we both drew, drew off of this initial sketch right there. So that's just a backward C-shaped profile to serve as the rim of the tire and then whatever the heck you want for your actual tire and a center line to serve as the axle center line that everything's going to revolve around. And that produces the wheel. So now we have a car body and we have a wheel. So let's go ahead and rename that so that I know what the heck I'm looking at. And this was my first car body, so we'll call that something else. If I want, I could actually get rid of any of these extra things. If I did, if I, you know what? If I just decide I don't want that, just go ahead and delete it. So there you go. So now all we have is a wheel on a car body. All right, here you go. We got a wheel, a car body. Let's go ahead and put them together. We're going to use something called an, an assembly. Now there's already one assembly down here. If you want to create multiple assemblies, you can just click the plus sign and add new assemblies. We already have one, so we're going to rename that car assembly, and we're going to go ahead and add our parts. So we'll just click insert, and let's go ahead and insert a car body, and bring it in here, click to set one, and then grab a wheel, and let's go ahead and set a wheel here, and give yourself some space, click wheel, 
give yourself some space, click wheel again. Give yourself some space and click wheel over here. And hit the green check mark to say, yeah, that's what you want. All right, first thing you're gonna notice once you get these in here is you can move these around. Uh, so it's good to have one thing in the system, the very first thing you bring in, it's good to have that parked, like not going anywhere so that everything else can reference to it. So since everything's gonna to attach to the car, we're gonna go ahead and set the car um, at the center of the universe. So we're gonna right click and we're gonna go ahead and click fix, which will mean that we can't drag that around. Everything else will move around, but the car won't. Of course, you see I just grabbed on a wheel and the rim moved, but the tire didn't. <gasps> okay, well, let's fix that. Um, I don't want to fix that together. I want them to be able to move. I just want them to be able to move together. Uh, so what first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab both of those and click that group button. And that going to give that a check. And that's going to be group one, which we just could rename that. Wheel one. And we can give it like front left wheel, back left wheel. You can call it whatever you want to call it. So let's go ahead and do that. No, you know, driver front wheel. Or left front wheel. Let's do left front wheel. And process repeats. And we're going to go ahead and it's going to be left front, right front wheel, right front wheel. If I can spell correctly, Make that check mark. And now we have last group going to be right rear wheel and check mark. So now we have parts and they're all not going anywhere. Next thing we're going to do is going to get those. We got a couple of our wheels that are in the absolute wrong spot, like they're pointing the wrong way. These wheels are inside out. So let's go ahead and take these wheels. Looking from above, let's rotate them around. Rotate that around 180 degrees. And this one rotated 180 degrees. Just type in 180, enter, and click in white space to set. And then from the top view, you can just line them up. And we could just, for what we're doing in this activity, you can just line them up get them close enough. Uh, there are some other tools you can play with to get them actually exactly lined up so they could spin and that would be cool. Uh, but for what we're doing today, let's just go ahead and do this. Let's just call that close enough for today. And we'll do the same thing with the other wheels. Nice and slow with your mouse. Sometimes there's some lag. So if you move your mouse too fast, you'll find that things don't really work out the way you want them to. And here we have it. There you go. There's a wheel and there's a car and it's all put together. Uh, next time we get together, we'll create some more cool stuff and I'll show you how to animate some of this stuff. All right. So as always, it'll be awesome.